Hey, friends. Hey, how's it going everyone? Oh my goodness. Hope everyone's having a good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're at. Um, I'm really feeling my, one, my light up here that's pretty dope, <laughs> but then also all my crazy colors in here. So that's what's happening tonight. I'm um, just kind of working on a new app. I've uh, been basically playing Animal Crossing nonstop. So uh, the biggest problem we have, the biggest dilemma is turnip tracking because if you're not playing Animal Crossing, the biggest problem is that every Sunday you can buy turnips at a certain price, and then throughout the week you can sell turnips at a certain price, but they vary every morning and every afternoon. From 8 a.m. to noon, different price, from noon to 10 p.m. So it's just crazy. Oh, no, I'm just in a different room. We're moving around basically all crazy in the house right now. So we're setting up impromptu stations throughout the house to kind of work and act and interact basically. So how was Frank's stream? Was it any good? <laughs> good to see you, Gareth. I miss Frank's stream. I, I saw his tweet later on and then I was like, oh, I should probably go, go back and watch that. So a classic Frank, probably doing awesome stuff. So, so that's what we're gonna work on tonight. I'm gonna work on just a little bit. I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half or so. I'm gonna work on a little turnip tracking app. It's gonna be tracking turnips. My plan in the grand theme of the scheme of things is to be able to track all of your turnip prices if you enter them in the morning and the afternoon. And then ideally we'll do a machine learning model on that, um, which should be able to predict your turnip prices throughout the week. Um, and then you can um, also get your enter the the purchase price that you bought in the beginning of the week and then it should be able to track the percentage of your profit that you're making so are you up or are you down basically there that's pretty funny nomo good to see you as well good to see you Luis, also good to see you as well it's a pretty late one fantastic as always he's doing another today oh that's good i'm glad we managed to fully encourage him to stream yeah i'm glad that he got into it he seems to be enjoying it he's good at it. he's it's the frank show you know it's frank doing his own frank thing so what are you gonna do right i mean that that's what frank's gonna do so he, he and he you know he asked me a lot he's like how do i think should i do this should i do that I'm like yeah just do you man just do you i'm gonna bump this up really quick here filter no i have that so low there we go a little bit better there. You can see the chat and the thing. I've been moving around some um, screens, trying to figure out the best way to work 
on the Mac because I'm using it on my PC. So I'm on a PC, but I'm capturing my PC. And now I'm capturing a Mac and I'm trying to figure out the best window size thing. So we'll see how that goes. Moose says I keep meaning to go live, but then someone else goes live. You just gotta go. And that's the problem. You just gotta go do it. Just have fun. Just, just go for it. All right, let me pop over here and let's see if I can um, start to do some work. Let me pop this over here, actually. Rearranging. And I reset up everything all the time. <laughs> that's true. You don't want to miss it. I guess you can always watch it on demand. So we'll see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so. Where's that? Now I'm just trying to like figure out the best way to do the stream here for the chat. That should be good. Minimalistic. Frank should put the, Frank should just be Frank. We love Frank. Frank's just Frank. Frank is Frank. He's just doing himself. He's doing his best self. All right, so we're gonna create a new project. And here, I just installed a, I think I just installed an Xcode 11 beta. So that should be about correct. So, Let's do a new, I guess a blank app, a shell app, a blank app, a shell app, a blank app. This will do a shell app. I'm gonna call this turnip tracker. And iOS Android, what's a shell app? Oh, um, okay, so great question. What is in this? So. Xamarin Form Shell is a new concept of how you basically organize your application. So a shell application sort of has built-in URI navigation into it. It has built-in flyout navigation, tab navigation, built-in search, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's a more of an opinionated way of, of sort of styling your application. Um, it was introduced in Xamarin Forms 4.0, so it's been out for a while. Mm. Yeah, it should. Yeah, there's a special preview of Xcode 11 for, I was trying to get, um, I was trying to get um, something else working, but I have the Hanselman Forms application as shell, actually. But you can do stuff like in navigation wise, you can, you can basically set these routes on your pieces of content and then you can navigate so you can register routes manually and then you can um, do deep linking and then you can perform navigation so you can say like go to async and then go to animals monkeys things like that so that way it um I mean, you can do like deep linking from the web if you wanted to url routing or you just say go to monkey details and then you can also pass like um um, but, 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 state around too. So if I have, I don't know where the state is at, pass data. So you could pass back like the animal name, for instance, and then you could like pass that piece of data and you can even like basically hook it up. So it automatically sets the data on it, which is pretty cool. So, so I think we'll do that. Yeah, turnip, turnip tracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that you were you were doing fabulous F sharp stuff back in the day. Yeah, it must have been around, I guess build, yeah, build last year, two years ago, yeah, last year. <laughs> All right, then we're going to, I don't know if these templates are up to date, let's see, nope. Let's see what it's on. Nine, okay, that's fine. 
Let us uh, manage NuGet packages. Let's update these. Yeah, he did a lot of shell work, especially early on, but then even up to this day. I mean, shell's kind of like a, I mean, it's a great way to get started and great way to sort of organize your application. So like I kind of, I can show you that in general, let's see. So, so let's like, if I show you the difference is that like there's an app and an app shell. So that's like the main difference. And the app shell sort of houses some global styles for your app here. And then also gives you these templates. So you have like tab bar, shell, um, fly out items, a bunch of different stuff. So like, let's see if this runs. Uh, Pancake Finder app. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a waffle API. That's my next thing. Maybe for build, I'll make a waffle application. In fact, that's what I probably should do. Is just like all the waffles. Some people like. And then you could do like a toggle that says like pancake or waffle. Jake Hyde, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Late night coming in. So we'll build. All right, so let's pump it up. CP implementation. I don't know what that is. Cool. So, like here, this is like basically tabs. So, this is like defining the tabs. So, you have a tab bar, two tabs. Um, and then you can do something like if you wanted to not have tabs, you could just do shell piece of the content. You could just like delete this. How do I do the thing where I... How come I can never find how to um, edit something out? Does this work if I control save them? I think. Yeah, so see how like I changed it from tab bars? Now it's like a flyout navigation. I didn't put any titles in there, but if I put like title uh, browse and then title about, hit save. So like that's the biggest piece. Like you can kind of like really navigate your application command slash thank you yes <laughs> i always forget i'm like i don't know how to do it um hey mortal how's it going buddy good to see you good to see you um so yeah so that's like a basically shell does that for you like it enables you to change your application structure very very easily from like bottom tabs top tabs back and forth so if i move this back to just like a tab bar oops that in there done then boom now we're back to like tabs and bottom tabs things like that we'll probably use something like this i would say um but i'm going to basically delete all this stuff so i'm just going to delete everything james says yeah, everyone command slash command slash I i'm gonna learn that one time so i'm just not a mac person so 
but I will learn to lead everything here. I do want a blank shell app, but then it's also like, I don't know, complicated because you're like, oh, I need to put something into it. All right, so delete. All right, let's scaffold this out here. We're going to just manage NuGet packages. So what we're gonna want is we are going to want MVVM helpers, naturally, duh. And we're gonna want a pre-release. Add a package to everything. I've used Mac for a while to write code, so I'm willing to try to share a shortcut. So thank you, Liz, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I need to get better at it. I need to get better at it. You know what I think too you can do is, and you can like browse for that. I think you can do like pancake view in here. And then I think you could check that. And then I think you it'll keep it. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. Let's add that in there. Let's add it to everything naturally. Should keep them all checked, but you know. What are MVVM helpers? Oh, so um, MVVM helpers, great question, is a library I wrote. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that, it's like a nose. So normal MVVM um, model, Xamarin Form says everything built in, but I like to just add some nice helper methods that like any application could use. It doesn't have to be a Xamarin application or Xamarin Forms. So it does something like gives you an observable object. So it sort of gives you the scaffolding automatically. It gives you a base view model that gives you some like titles, subtitles, some very easy bindable things. And then some nice things like observable range, utils, async commands, weak event managers, just some helpers really um, that I've created over time. And then pancake view. is by Steven Twyson, Twyson, Tyson. I'm, I'm gonna, hold on. You, you won't be able to hear it because it will be there, but he has on his website, he has on his website, I'm on the wrong thing, darn it. Mm, I use this one to code on. Let's close these out. So he has a bunch of cool packages. I like this one a lot because it, it's cool pancakes with a monkey on it, but it does a bunch of gradients and rounded corners, things like that, super duper nice. And what is it? Oh, I can't hear it either. Steven Taywison. Steven Taywison. Steven Taywison. Pancake finder. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that. All right, cool. So we want those and then we also want Xamarin forms material. Doop. Install this puppy. We want, that's weird that there's like already thing. That's like on top of it, I see. Oh, interesting. He just published this today. Wait, is that right? 4-4-2020? Four, four, oh, that must be like old. I see. Mm, I have stable installed. Let's just put that on there. This will give us material design on iOS and Android. So I'll do this. And then what we'll do, late night coding, Jim. Yeah, just a little late night coding, little late night coding. I'm making a turnip tracker application for Animal Crossing. That's what we're working on mm, so far. And then let's see how to do this. Xamarin. Xamarin forms. Underneath it, 
underneath it. iOS, we'll do that here. I don't think collection of these experimental anymore. But we can actually remove all those. Because I found out that you can put that stuff in your shared code. So actually, if you go into um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da in here, and I have like, where's my hands on that forms? Hands on that, not forms. Nope, that's not it. I think I have them all in here. <clears throat> Yeah, let's nice have them all in here. All the device flags, all the all the preview features. Boop. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of these. Boop. Go bring in this. Boop. I know it's late, but there is a perfect. But this is the perfect time. Well, only just woke up. Boom. Um, any idea if Pancake is able to use metal on iOS? Uh, I mean, you could use metal on Xamarin. I, I mean, it's there, but I don't think it needs to. It's not doing shaders. It's just drawing to the CL, the, 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 just the normal layers. You can look at the implementation though. I'll link it to you in the Twitchy chat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he's just doing, I think well, Xamarin Forms is gonna have it all built in at some point, but yeah, I think if you just look at the iOS implementation, I'm sure it's very simplistic. There's just, you have, there's a UI view and he's drawing two probably layers on it, I'd assume. Draw border needs display. Corner radiuses, so he has just like an element, which is just a view, UI view. And then creates a bezier path, shape utils, which creates rounded corners. And here he goes through all the gradient colors and puts them all out via layers, it looks like. Yeah, see a shape layer, so. Yep. Just a bunch of cool iOS code. All right, cool, so. Okay, so let's do a new and folder. Hmm, let me open. This will be a new content page, and this will be my I'm trying to figure out my or my it's not gonna be my main page, but like turn up Cheers. tracking page question mark. Turn up tracking page, turn up tracking. Turn up page. I guess it'll be a turn up tracking page. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we did. And then we can just 
do a new one of these. Right now, there's not really going to even be any pages in here, but we'll just put it down here. You could just not use any of that stuff too. That's also a way. <laughs> the Iduax, and I guess you could just plug in your device. <laughs> Damien says, oh, hey, hey Damien, hey, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. It, naming things is hard because then I'm going to want to rename it later because I'm like, I don't even know what I want exactly this application. I mean, I know what the application I want it to do is, but. What do I want this turnip tracking page to be? What are you? What are you? Yeah, you know, the thing with, um, you know, even in the tutorials to get started with Xamarin, I basically don't even, oh my God, it doesn't have any content. I, I don't even show MVVM to begin with. So I just kind of code it in there. So. So really kind of what I want is Mm, oh, you want to share it? You can use an application called Visor. That's what I use to plug my device in, and then you can just use Visor. So these are the turnip prices. Really what I want is, hmm, what do I want? I mean, in a nutshell, there's really going to be a grid and there's gonna be like a grid dot row definitions. And inside of there, there's gonna be two rows. Did we do a thing where we made it easier to, I thought we did. I thought we made it easier to define rows, but maybe we didn't. Pop. <laughs> oh my goodness, Code Phobia, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you late night coming in hard. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, we just literally started a brand new application. Um, good to see you. Hope you had a great stream. We're, we're working on a brand new mobile app. Literally just file nude it up to do turnip tracking in Animal Crossing. Um, it's a big delay, debate between me and my friends, basically, at this point. Um, of how to do that. So all we've been doing is texting back and forth, and that's not helpful, to be honest with you. So um, we're gonna fix that tonight. That's what's gonna happen. Um, and my plan is to make it awesome and not be terrible. I'm way <laughs> but, Kamirk313, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. We're here for the turnips. Everybody's here for the turnips. That's what this morning um, I had about, um, how many turnips that I had left? I had 40 bundles, 50 bundles left. And, um, and I was like, this morning I woke up with a hundred bundles. I hadn't sold anything all week. I bought for 107. Uh, I think everyone kind of bought for very similar prices. And um, oh, you got to get the turnips all day. The turnip lady's only out on Sunday. You got to get the turnips. And my buddy just sold his turnips. One of my buddies went to a friend's house, sold his turnips, bought them for a hundred, sold them for 400. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. 
So then um, we were tracking them all week. My buddy Michael's um, place had them for 220 to buy. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna hold off. They got like 400. And mine was like hovering in the hundreds where I'd break even. And then uh, my wife, hers were like under 40 turn up all week. It was ridiculous. Like she just could not get a break on the turn up prices. Um, and then we both spiked at like 150, 160. And um, I was like, okay, I'll sell half of them, but we got one more because at noon it changes, right? And then um, at noon, mine went down to 40 and hers went down to like 138. And I like sent a frantic text message. I said, what's everybody's turn up prices right now? And um, that's when we figured out, uh, <laughs> figured out like turn up my, basically that I need to be better at selling my turnips earlier <laughs> but um okay so i want to add some uh, i'm going to add some gradients in here uh how do i do that uh, i think it's a cool sample um morning sun rise colors uh, sunrise color palettes i like this Ooh. Ooh. I want to, oh, this is cool. I do like that, that's cool. Can I get like, is that a gradient? Maybe it needs to be like a gradient. What are you working on, Phobia? Anything cool? Anything cool? Oh, this is perfect. Perfect. I love it. How do you do? You do a gradient. Gradient stops. And then I think you do like a, goes into it. I think it's like a, this is too long. I want it to be pancake. It's too long of a name. I see gradient stop collection. I think I need to put in there, and then I need to do pancake gradient stop. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, cool. And then I think it's like, oh, cool. Tell me I can click on this, please. Okay. Let's see. Pound five eight one five one. Why is there an A in there? A? Is that is that correct? There's six. Oh, there's six. That's correct. Okay, cool. Tell me I can click on this. Yes, I can. The question is, am I doing them backwards? I think I need to do like an offset. I think it's like, how do I do it? Um, I guess there's six, seven colors. I'm like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do gradients. Example. I wish it would just do it evenly. That's what I want it to do. Correct. 
How do you do that? Two, four, six. I think I have one too many colors for that. Mm. Calculator. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One divided by seven. Point one four two. I still don't think I did it correct, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Cause then if I do plus point one four two four, cause I'm not close. Ooh. Oh, cause I probably need to divide it by six, I guess. That's stupid. Okay, one divided by six, point one six. Six steps, yes, yes, correct, correct. And now, because now we should be closer to five, and then this should be closer to like point six, 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 point eight, eight, eight. No, that's not correct. Um, plus point one six six equals. Yeah, one. Oh, that's close. Point eight three one one. Uh, that's my sunrise. I don't really even like that sunrise, to be honest with you. I don't know why I just found this sunrise gradient. Um, like I don't even like this sunrise. Hmm, um, this is cool. I don't like that. I'm gonna use to download this thing. I don't want. I just want the colors. I guess it would be opposite. It would be in reverse. Oh, they tricked me. They tricked me. They tricked me. I love that color. I just want that to be the I want that to be the color of it. Just like, can I just take this? I love that color. Um, I basically hate this. So let's just maybe delete these three. I basically hate all of this boop. And then zero. What's that look? That doesn't look great. Either. Maybe I just need one more. Anyways, the idea if. Oh, that's better. Okay, I like this. Um, that's looking a little bit better. So if I did zero. And in fact, this need to be reversed, but. I should probably reverse it. Bidoo. So actually, no, I guess it would, a sunrise would be darker in the, I guess it would be darker in the top. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really nice. This one here, I don't know what they did, but anyways, the idea that I have, cause I'm an idiot and I'm focusing too much on the stupid gradient <laughs> is that I want this to be like a separator. And then this could be like zero, three, three, six, six, one. One's like, you know, sunrise, sunset. That's what I was going for. I'm not very good at it. So it is what it is. 
No, that's not correct. Row spacing. Anyways, that's what I was going for. It's not exactly what I was going for. I kind of wanted more of this type of thing, but it is what it is. I guess I could just do like a border radius of like 25. How's that work? And then I could do like, um, okay, cool. And then we could do, could just do that, something like that. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just being ridiculous. Okay, so inside this pancake view, the one thing that I would wanna do is put in like a stack layout, and I'm gonna put in a label, it's gonna say text, and it's gonna say text AM prices. Boop. And then I'm gonna have an entry placeholder. Oh, I don't even need that. I could just put this placeholder and prices. Boop. And then I could do inside of this pancake view, I guess I could just make this bigger now. Those over here, those over here. Okay, so what we could do is how do I make Visual Studio always show me the drop downs? That's what I want. I want the editor to not enable animation. Show indentation guidelines. I want them to always show. Uh, how do I have it always show enable code folding? I want it to not. Maybe it's that. Is that what it is? Is it close? I don't know what that did. I don't know what animations do. Change visual, visual. Did I click this button? There we go. Uh, I want them to always be there. Like, don't hide them. <laughs> um, oh, I can do that. That's cool. That's nice. What's that do? I can't click that button. Hmm. Yeah, stunned. I don't know why it. Oh, XML. Insert matching braces. I want them to not animate that. I'm going to have to yell at somebody. like I always want those I, I just why are they hidden just don't 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 make them go away okay so here for the turnips here for the turnips we're going to do a yeah horizontal and then hmm. And then we're gonna do like a visual material boop. It's really hard to see. Double click tab. I believe it will keep the pane open. Double click tab. Oh yeah, I just want these to never go away. I don't know why. They're just always gone. I was going with something really cool with these pancake views. I don't know if I want them anymore. Yeah, so it's right here. I just want that to not go away. Feature request. Hold on, we can do this right now. Um, so just a feature. Um, 
Oh, I'm gonna log in. Uh, can I do that here? No, I don't know. I'll have to do it later. I think I'll do it in the ID. Um, okay, so switchy prices. Okay, I'm going to, now that I've messed around with all these gradient overviews, let's see, placeholder, color. So I think what we really want is probably to not have any of this. I really wanted it to be kind of cool where you could be like have AM prices, PM prices. I don't know, but I'm silly. So that's probably not exactly what it's going to do. Um, I thought this was going to look so much cooler, but then it doesn't. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this and we'll put everything in a one pancake view. And then what we can do is we'll do Okay, so we will do that, and then we'll do... By any chance you know, I don't know. I don't do React Native, so I don't know. Derry Stoneham, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. So there's that. And then we got these cool rounded corners. Everybody loves that. Um, and I think what you could end up doing actually is what? Oh, you know what would be kind of cool? Is if we put back this, we did shell dot navigation false. And we did um, auto. And here we did grid dot row one. We could do like Basically. Oh, you know what you can do? Oh, that's silly. I think what you can do is you can do, oh, that's smart. You can do 24, 24, 0, 0. I think that will do it. Nice. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the padding because it's just right there. That's cool. Okay, cool. So we could do easily. Mm, eventually, these will have all sorts of stuff. So yeah, we could do. do, 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 do. 
Oh, and you know what would be really cool? Oh, I have a great idea. I wonder if I just do something like this and we do, it's gonna be kind of silly, but we just do white. And here we do background color blue, just for now, right? I guess we do like, that in there, primary? Nope. I guess it's not. Oh, navigation primary. I don't know where that lives. Should be there. No? Oh, why is that here? Okay, cool. So now if I move to the turnip tracking page, this should be correct. Uh -oh. uh, I definitely need this. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So then what we're gonna end up putting up here is like probably some fancy logo and we do like label and then we do like um, horizontal center and we'll say text. Let's turn it. very scary. I don't know what button is the download button. Oh, okay. Is that the download button? Maybe. I'm very worried. Okay, one second. Okay, cool. Mm, open. And then we want to do this. All right, cool. A font too? I do, I think of everything. What what does a font need? And what does the app need? It needs a font. Um, luckily, we just completely updated embedded fonts, which is rad. Um, okay, so what I need to do is I need to put it in into here. We're gonna create a new folder called Add folder resources. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna take this font, shove it in there, copy the directory, do it. And we're gonna mark it as an embedded resource. <laughs> like how it's Samantha down. That's funny. Properties, build action, embedded resource, check. And then here. Mm. Oh wow, note that the adding the entry in the info plist was not added for, that's not needed. To use more custom font names, you can use. Mm. Hmm. I feel blessed. 
Bertami, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, so let's stop here. Let's go into our assembly export. We're going to say, think heavy. And I believe it needs to be what? Embedded alias. So I can say, oh. Uh -huh. We got a Steven Thwison up in here. Look out, people. He's going to throw up at my design. So, shh, don't tell anyone. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good, beautiful Sunday afternoon. So, so far, we don't have much, um, but we are getting there. And that's what's very important. Okay. Oh, font family. If this works. Oh, snap, it does. Amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, we just brought in a font literally in no time at all, which is amazing. Um, we want this to be like big six, but perfect. <laughs> Yeah, your butterfly keyboards, Boop. turn up tracking. I mean, literally it's in the name um, and I like that. Okay, so we have a stack layout. We're gonna get rid of this stuff and we're gonna get rid of all this color junk here. Mm-hmm. And then here, this will have like some sort of, I guess it'll have padding inside of here. Four, I'll say. Mm-hmm. And I think what we would end up having is like turn up, there'd probably be like a turn up image in there. AM prices, PM prices, maybe like a label. Okay, so we have AM prices and PM prices. And then someone could say like 24 and then like 104. And then like at the bottom, I, I don't even think you should need to like add a button to do anything. It should just sort of like save, I think. This is my 2013 MacBook. So it's totally a thing that's happening. Um, okay, so entry, entry. And I think probably what you actually want inside of here is a Someone says, why am I using Xamarin and not React Native or Flutter? Well, I do work on the Xamarin team at Microsoft, so that's one thing. And I've also been a Xamarin developer for nine years, and I'm a C-sharp developer. Um, if people ask me about things such as Flutter, in my opinion, I have a thing here for it. But I'm not a web developer, so I don't use React Native. I'm not really a web developer at all. I've been a C-sharp developer all my life, um, doing desktop apps, mobile apps, different things like that. So I'm very sim familiar with Visual Studio, C Sharp, XAML syntax. I I've done like all sorts of iOS and Android development. I used to do Java development. I've done Objective-C development. Um, I've messed around with all the different frameworks throughout the years, but yeah. 
Um, so I'm gonna do a frame in here. And I think what we'll do is like height request of like 50 or 40 and then width request of 40. And then I think what we can do is I like 40. Oop. Day. And then we're gonna do form design time data. I always forget how to put it in here. And Maddie has a great doc that just shows me how to do this array. Collection view. Right, I'm so so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Sunday, Monday. Well, I guess we should also figure out like what day people do because in the US our days start on two, on Monday, like animals, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we need to do, do padding zero. We'll do text label like that. And then we need to do how do you do that thing? It's like a They don't buy on Sunday, correct. So I think on Sunday when you press on it, you're going to enter your buy price. So you would you would basically have um, oh, oh Jesus. You missed out the whole thing, Steve, in the very beginning. So an animal we're all playing Animal Crossing. Get on the Animal Crossing bandwagon here. Um, what do I need to do? I need to do the uh, what is it called? Item sizing strategy, item source, items layout. Is that what it is? Linear grid, linear items layout. Yeah, and then you need to do like, oh, this is new. They just have like, that's much better. Orientation and then horizontal, that work? Better than it. And then you could do like, um... see, look at that, boop. Whoa. Oh, it does animations too. Oh, oh there's some animations. So, uh, animal crossing turnips. FAQ. There you go. Stock market. So basically, you can buy and sell turnips in Animal Crossing. You can only buy them on Sunday, and then you can sell them throughout the week. Um, and the prices change every day at noon. So it's sort of like a stock market, but with turnips. That's the whole deal. That is the deal um, in general. So, didn't do anything. Oh yeah. Here's my. Should make these bigger, I guess. Probably have to dynamically do these, probably. But. Oh yeah, corner radius needs to be 25. Oh, I can I can see it now. Okay. And then border. Let's just make it black for now and then. Mm-hmm. 
That's weird. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do. because this needs to be bigger. And I think really this is gonna be smaller again, so this will be 36 maybe. I think that would be okay cool and then I actually think that like oh, I think I need to do like a I think I need to do like a grid in here maybe gonna just allow the drop shadows to kind of show up there and then I think that probably because of that maybe I can just do like two like four magical numbers so then you can like tap on any of these like that and then can I do like horizontal center your prices so I think that's like day turn up prices and then you would like adjust through it and then what you would do is down here you would have a label and then you would have text and it would be like um, do is you would do oh that's so smart so here you would end up doing like a grid inside of here and I would probably do like because the goal is you kind of always forget what you bought it for so here you could do like a grid dot column span column grid uh, it's late. Column definitions. I think here you could do like a point eight, and then here we'll do another one like point two, 
And then you would do like grid.row one, there's two rows. And then what's cool about this is that when you enter this, you could have like a label and it could be like text color green. And then you could say um, text like, I don't know. How do you get the emoji window up in 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 Mac OS, that Windows dot in Windows. So you can say like plus twenty fourteen. Control command, obviously Control Command Space. Ho ho ho! All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You can be like, oh, it's going <laughs> up, middle finger. <laughs> like up. Oh, I like that we have emoji support. And then you could say like grid.row zero grid.column column one horizontal center. Boop. And then this could be like red, right? And that could be like down. Minus 20. I guess it would be, oh, oh, I like that. Like this, it's, kind of, it's very stock markety. And then maybe like, Not that one. And then here you would do row one, and then I think like font, text size, other size. I mean, you can make them pretty big because like the numbers are pretty small, right? You're usually gonna be like 200 and like 400 or something like that. And then like ideally, um, I think what you would do is, So maybe, I think. Um, IntelliSense is so good. Um, if 
but so you, you would have something like that. And then that would be the full day. So you'd be like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and this could be like, Cool, so we would do something like that. Now let's put in a, um, let's put in some dates, right? So let's create a model and we'll call it a, a day. <laughs> so this day is going to have a, I thought the, the do take bells. Ooh, yes. Hmm, that's a good point. The question is, can I put, um, dun 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 dun, I love that. Um, okay, cool, so I think, um, oh wow, that would be so cool. So what if we did, ooh, this is gonna be nifty. So what if we did like, column definition with auto. Watch this, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love this. And then here, everything is, everything is Bell. Now the question is, does Bell work in there? It does. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oops. The, the, the whole thing is emojis. Everything is emojis, basically. And then what we can do here, watch this. So what we'll do is instead of just putting this array of this thing, we're gonna put a new class up here. And then what we will do is model. In fact, day long, this should be like Sunday. What we should do is, is Should work, right? What does that return? Char. I guess, uh, I guess two string. <laughs> it is well. The thing is, the um, there is a due date because if you don't. Um, sell the turnips, they will go bad, right? Um, and then you can't sell them. So if you don't sell them by Sunday, then yeah. going to be do, 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 selected item dot day long mm -hmm. um you should definitely have subscriber alerts uh, no one subscribed you have to like press the button that says like alert so like if the stock market worked like a dodgy gift voucher instead of money. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, I didn't see it come through loose. I don't see it over here. There's usually like the share button. So then like it pops up. I don't see it in my alerts in Twitch either. I believe you though, cause I see the icon. So I don't know. But no, they're all there. Hmm. I'll have to look at it, Luce. So then what you can also do down below, after all this shenanigans, you could do something like label text one day left to time left. See, there it is. 
Nothing is impossible. Luis, thank you so much for the tier two subscription. There you go, it's just delayed. So you just gotta do the thing with the thing. We actually have a new, a new um, uh, we'll say like three hours. Uh, some, some time left, you need like a, you know, time left type of thing countdown. Uh, we have a new donation. Um, New donation, donors choose. It's helping um, schools in the US get technology they need during the coronavirus, which is pretty awesome. So definitely check that out. It's really cool, like any teacher or any student can sign up for it. So so I think here, what we'd end up doing is put this, I think I need to like put this and do like a stack layout and then I'm move. way up, I feel blessed. So we will be donating any profit from the stream. We just closed out the Gorilla Foundation. I uh, raised about $400 there, which is cool. Key Blair, six. Thank you so much for the um, follow. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, 50 people hanging out. Wow, that's crazy. Just turnipping it up. Turnipping it up. That's crazy. Um, so let's put this puppy here. I guess I should do a lot more late night streams, apparently, because everybody's turning it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is Europeans. European time. I like that. Oh, and this should be like, um, and Australia, that's true. That's true, that's true, that's true. I like that. The only problem is then I gotta like stay up real late and I got a podcast at eight in the morning. So I gotta be up at 7.30 to make coffee, so. Um, uh, static resource. Navigation key. Oops. Actually, I actually kind of like all of this that's happening here. I wonder if I put this here. Yeah, I think you were. I think you were flagged. Yeah. Well, we got the Kim Phil Potts in the house. Kim Phil Potts in the house. Everyone. Kim, did you get the sweet emotes? I need to know the Kim emotes. Please tell me I got the Kim emotes. I'm pretty sure that I. You need to check those DMs, dude. Get in on it. I need the emotes in my life. Come on, get it. East Coast early birds, no way. 4 a.m. Bananas. Um, I think what I need to do here is I need to put a little bit of spacing, a little bit of spacing up in here. So margin, 12. Oh, I don't want that there. No, 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 go away. I think you just need, oh God, no. I think that, do, 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 do. I think I can put this down here actually. Did you know that you can hover over this and expand this? Except for it goes away when you, why does it go away? Why does it go away? I just want it to always be there. I just want it to always be there. I at least got the crush, crush code. Do -do -do -do. Um, okay, cool. So let's do this. Shia LaBeouf. Let's 
pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty excited about this. And then here, like you could select a day, right? Then you'd be like 24, 48. And then here you go back. Oh, I guess it, oh, I didn't do the binding to it. So let's do that really quick. Oh, Mark Ruin's in the house. Line, you're a line skipper. Uh-oh, getting called out. Um, okay, cool. So also, oh, oh, you know what I can do is I can do same thing here. I should be able to do... Binding context, we'll do a X colon. Oops. Source. So then we will do Pretty sure that's what I named them. Yes. So if this is working, should be able to tell you Sunday, and then let's say it was at 40, 80. That didn't work. Um, something wrong Oh, price AM and price PM. That's why. Der. So if I tab this, then I could say 24. If I go here, I still did it. Why did I do that? You know what? I bet it's not an int. What is it? Oh, it's a string. That is why it is a string. Chillaxthor, thank you so much for the follow. That is why. And I'm too lazy to do a converter because converters are stupid. Selected. I, no, I think. Oh, I think it was that. Um, uh, it could be. Let's look. 
selected, ooh, and, and selected item is wrong. That is correct. Thank you so much. You are correct. Thank you so much, Vessi Phil. Thank you so much. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have questioned it. So if we do 24 away, boom, it's gone, but it's back. It's gone, it's back. We do 48, boom. And then like if it's Sunday, like it should, like um, here, uh -huh. what I could do is like, check this out. So then is Sunday. Oh, this is what I like to do. Public bull is not Sunday. Mish Manners, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Raid going on, people. Let's get some emotes flying across the screen. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the uh, for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are working on tonight a, a little app for Animal Crossing that I've been trying to do. Uh, Mish Manners, I will have to check out your stream. I hope that you had a great stream. Thank you so much. First time Twitcher. Whoa, I got a raid here, I believe. First time Twitcher, very cool. What's a raid? Whoa, raid is like when you are watching someone else and then they 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 send you to somebody else's channel because they're done streaming. So it's a way to sort of, sort of support the community so you kind of always have something to watch, which is cool. And then boom, yeah. Welcome all first time Twitch um, Twitchers and anyone from Mish Manor's uh, stream. I appreciate the raid. I'm doing some late night coding over here. Um, I'm James Montemagno. I'm a, a program manager over at Microsoft, but um, that's my day job. My night job, my stream job is writing sweet, sweet mobile applications. And today it's all about building a turnip tracking app. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, and you just kind of basically like whenever someone's done um, streaming, that's a cool way of like supporting. You got you to gotta dump those turnips, get rid of those turnips. So, so far we've in the last hour and a half or so, we've built the main turnip tracking app. You can pick a day that you're on. It will default obviously the correct day. Um, and then um, it will sort of track it. And we're going to do some calculations based on if it's Sunday or not. Um, so this would only be like, is visible um, binding. So I guess I need to do, what can I do? Um, is not Sunday? Does that work? That didn't work. <laughs> that did, oh, it's always false. Oh, I guess I should do this is there a github i literally just created it but we will push the code up that is for sure um, before it so this should be a read only this should be there we go there's not a repo yet but we will work on it that is for sure what exactly do i do um, i'm um my day job is i'm uh, like i said i'm a program manager at microsoft i work on Xamarin, which is what I'm using to build this application, actually, um, which is our cross-platform um, uh, framework to build iOS, Android, and Windows applications. And um, I've been doing that for seven years. I worked at Xamarin, the company, before it was acquired three and a half years ago, almost four years ago now, actually. So that is what I do. And hopefully everyone's playing Animal Crossing. Because if you're playing Animal Crossing, then you know that I freaked out today on my on my turnip day. I was just like, oh my gosh, so many turnips to be. Oh, this isn't. Oh, this is working. So, oh yeah, okay, perfect. So this is, if it's not Sunday, see, it shows. If it's Sunday, 
Boom, it does show. Cool. That's perfect. Yeah, there you go. Perfect, Xamarin, there it is. Xamarin.com. Yep. You're my favorite company. Hello, 168. If you're brand new, you wanna hang out, you wanna do some mobile coding, I stream every Friday at, at two o'clock Pacific, uh, but I also do random streams as well. So if you like what you're seeing, you're hanging out, like in some music, hit that follow button. I also got this sweet light behind me that's changing all the time. If I do big, check that out. Light Maryland, thanks to see ya. Look at that, so much color going on. So much color. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Very cool. Yeah. So if you're brand new to, um, if you're brand new to Twitch, also when you hit follow, you'll see that streamer when you go to twitch.tv. Now, if you hit that little notification button, if you have it on your phone, if you happen to be on Twitch, you'll get a little pop-up notification there too. Follows are super helpful for, um, Twitch streamers, um, because uh, it enables them to get different affiliate status, you know, get more, you know, people watching their stream, things like that. I don't know. I have all the bl the shades up. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm not too loud because the wife's sleeping in, in the other room. So I'm trying to be quiet. Actually, I should see. Make sure she didn't text me. She didn't. Okay, that's good. Shh. Yeah, that is a question I was thinking. I was like, well, the neighbors like, what is happening? And it has a rave. Um, pretty much. So then I think what we can do is something like this. I think we just like copy and paste this. Check this out. This would be like cell days. And then here we only have one row, so we don't need that. Boop. And then we get rid of, I think we only have, yeah, we just have this. Hmm. It'd be cool to have like, um, let's see, is there like a buy? Ooh, it'd be like dollar. Oh, there's so many emojis. I don't know which emoji this is. I guess it's this one. Uh, I guess. So then you would get rid of this stuff here. Probably need to clean this up a little bit here. Probably get rid of this. Oh, Keebler says I like your transitions. Thank you. I actually just um, got them from Fiverr. So I had some, went back and forth with through a few artists on there and then uh, have a few different ones, which are cool to like. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. I just finished object-oriented programming assignment in Java. Nice, that's actually where I started, so way back in the day. Yeah, we do everything in C-sharp. This is actually all XAML, so this is the user interface that we're seeing inside of here. Um, and we're using Xamarin, which is C-sharp, so object-oriented, just like Java, um, to buy, or to, not to buy, to, to build this puppy. So, it's pretty cool. All right, that's good. So then that's what that would look like. And I think, yeah, we don't want new, numerics. What we want is like, how do we make it sure so it's like integers only? Is there a way to do plain text? Hmm. I wonder if I can restrict it somehow. Yeah, C Sharp is very similar to Java in a way. So Java like came a few years before C Sharp, but C Sharp has added like a lot of 
great. Um, oh, telephone. Yeah, I guess, but a telephone will have. That's a good question. I'm curious if telephone will have. See, it has like this stuff in it. That's the problem. Um, I can look. Maybe I have to do something like um, Xamarin forms. Oh, you know what? I have this in my scoreboard app. I'm pretty sure. Um, Xamarin. Um, yeah, it's been a while. So yeah, C sharp. If you if you came from if you came from Java, C sharp. I mean, that's where I started. Then I found C sharp, but I never wanted to move back just because the tools are amazing, basically. Um, All my private repos have monkeys. Man, it's been a while since I scoreboard. I thought it was called just scoreboard. Hmm. App two private. What is that? Oh yeah, game scoreboard. How many come up with a score? Hmm. Pretty sure that I have it in here. Yeah, Mishmash Enters, thank you, th thank you so much for hanging out, um, for being part of the Live Coder team. Yeah, I will definitely hit you up on uh, Twitch next time I see you. Thank you so much for the raid and for hanging out for a little bit. Yeah, go get those foods. I gotta go to bed soon, so that is for sure. Um, let's see, I'm pretty sure I had a... Oh, I must have not done it then. I guess maybe I just validated it. Hmm. Yeah, you know, the, I mean, the other thing you could do, which is like better, I guess I must have just validated it. C, Java, other things. Oh, all the things, that's pretty cool. Nice. And do you have a favorite one? Do you have a favorite programming language? <laughs> Look at all the prime, yeah, that's true. Hmm. I'm going for like one of six. And then ideally what we would do is like we would do some math here on this page, and like this thing, I'll have a page of things. This will be good. Ba -doop, ba -doop. Mm, databases. I'm not a big database fan, but uh, it's a necessity. That is for sure. kind of like super important, <laughs> you know. Oh man, okay, so we got this. We could buy it, we could sell stuff, see our ups and downs, see what it's up to, stuff like that. I mean, this looks really good. I might take a screenshot, boop. I might tweet it out. All right, I think I have to go to bed. I think I have to go to bed. The built-in terminal is beautiful. Did have to switch to the Xcode 11. I wasn't, ha I wasn't, I wasn't having success with. Let's see if this will work. I was having problems with my iOS simulator on that version. Who are we raiding? Right, let me test this really quick. <laughs> there you go. Do it. My current mic is just on a like cell phone stand, actually. 
because I don't have my main setup. Although I should in a week or two, so. Um, I'm pretty sure that, let's see if this is working or not. Yeah, I usually like to go to, you can either go to live closures.dev or Ellie. I think they have like a whole website now. Look at that, team members. I need to somehow, am I even on this website? So many of us now. I didn't even know when this happened. I'm so disconnected, oh, there's me. I need to update this. This must be open source somewhere. There's so many of us, oh my goodness. Must be right here. Hmm, definitely need to update my page. That's cool. I'm just, I'm just so out of so out of. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. That's cool though. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Did this thing start? Yeah. See, I'm having this problem, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just my machine, but whenever I try to debug anything, I'm getting this. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Uh, to pass bindings into a sub layout. Um, I mean, the binding will trickle down anyways. It's only if you need to go to a parent. If you need, like, if you're in, if you're in a something, you need to get out. Um, I have 8.5 preview, which is the Xcode 11 build, but I also had 8.6. Xcode, oops, where's it at? Oh, oh gosh. Xcode, I just opened, I just updated it to 11.4. I want that move over, there we go. But even file new, this is Visual Studio for Mac. So um, Visual Studio family of Visual Studio on Windows, Visual Studio on Mac. Um, um, and then also VS Code, which is on a uh, Mac, PC, and Linux too. You can do all sorts of development. Like you can come in if you're wanted to build like a um, new solution over here. So you can build like iOS apps, Android apps, .NET apps, Mac apps, tvOS apps. You can build console applications, uh, websites, Azure phone, serverless compute. Yeah, oh geez, they have worker services, Blazor apps, Angular apps, React applications, but everything's in C-sharp, so, so there you go. All right, so the, the goose of Wildcoin. Um, I have a control that I pass a command binding being passed in, and I wonder if sublayouts is the right way. Um, I think that's fine. That sounds fine, yeah. I think that's fine. I don't know, I need a code sample. You'd have to tweet at me a code sample. But here's the thing is I think if I put this in release mode, I think it will work. So I think it maybe is just my machine perhaps, but I did install, I don't know what's going on because this is fine. Even file file new application, right? We didn't we didn't even change anything. So and there's like no output, but then if I do a release, it'll like go. Oh, this is like, this is new. Huh. But I think the application crashes. I think that's my problem. I don't know, maybe it's my machine. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. I mean, this machine is, is um, seven years of development, so I would never reformat it ever and gone through all that. Are you on Mojave or the, what am I on? I'm on 
Catalina. No, this thing is per in. Okay, so it does work. That's good. Oh wow. Okay, cool. So, but I'm in re I'm in release mode, but in debug mode, it refuses to work. That is my issue. if I'm doing that. So, cause it's release, right? But it could just be because my thing is so old. I don't know. And Catalina. Uh, cut off, but it's definitely <laughs> funny. That's not too bad. I'm pretty excited about it. This actually looks really cool. This like I don't know. It's just a it's just a frame. I mean, it's nothing special. It's so funny. Like this little thing is just takes over the world. Is it in the pancake view though? So I like, I like how I have a pancake view just for the rounded corners. And then probably, apparently that is not centered. Those are weird. Those should definitely be centered. I don't know why they're not. Hmm. Yeah, like those aren't centered for some reason. Anyways, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okie dokes. Let me see something here. the cycle much yeah it gets us oh, I mean mostly walking and I'm doing running right now um, but usually I'd like to do more uh, where is where did it go Oh, I think it just did it all. Did I add, did I just add all the files? Oh, it did. Cool.
Hmm. Okay, I didn't name it correctly, so it's good. Oh, okay, interesting. GitHub desktop. Um, I, I use the built-in stuff to Visual Studio on Windows. I think they're working on some more version control stuff here. Um, I mean, I love the split view where you can see like, not split view, source. Um, where's the thing? I go, oh, I guess you can see it in code. You can see changes. Now there are no changes here, but it's like once you have the Git stuff in place, it's like pretty sweet for that. Let's see what we're going to raid over here. Let's see if any of the live coders are on. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's a, uh, quite to see so many people up, which is rad. Rad. 46 people. Whoa. This computer's so mad at me. Let's pull some stuff down. Uh, Chickens have the highest. There's like nobody on. That's crazy. Makes sense. It's a level eight. Yeah, you gotta get a you gotta get a microphone that doesn't pick up the noise, basically. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But my, my MacBook right now is on fire. It's just like, ah. I don't know why I'm not doing anything. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. Mm, it's really hard because all the people I watch are on like normal times US. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of people ending around midnight, it seems like, which is funny. Let's see what XR is up to. Oh, it's all right. I don't like to, so to go into mature channels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, I guess maybe we'll just end it then. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I think I'll just do that. Sorry, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the new follows. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for hanging out on this night. Um, gonna record a new Nintendo Dispatch tomorrow. Maybe host uh, Animal Crossing. Probably should. That's all we're going to talk about this week, I'm pretty sure. So that's exciting. Okie dokes. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.